Welcome back to Proteus. Uh, Proteus has become my go-to game when I don't have a lot of time to stream uh, because the levels are really fast-paced, quick, short, kind of like levels from the 90s. Uh, you know, they've really sort of stuck to the format there, and that means that I can get an episode done if all I have is half an hour, and that's what I have today. So we're going to jump into Memoriam and see what that's all about. There are four ore chunks that I can get, and I have been wanting... After I'm done with this level, if I've got time, let's go back to the store and see what I'm actually spending, trying to spend these ore chunks on. All right, well, I've got a uh, checkpoint already. I guess that's important. And, oh, oh, hello, sir. Uh, 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 okay, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that I am missing a double jump. That, like, that is why I can't get ore chunks in a lot of these later levels. And so I think I'm gonna get as many ore chunks as I can in this level but I'm gonna assume I probably can't get some of them and I need to go and do some research and find out how to get myself a double jump okay so I've got some armor I've done some preparations like what I I'm feeling a sense of foreboding right now like they wouldn't have all th this many pickups on the map if I wasn't about to fight something horrible. Oh. Ah, there's a bunch of dudes. Ah. Oh, little dudes on the ground. But it's big dudes in the sky that I'm worried about. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I want to use on them. I want to use... Uh, I guess I could use a rocket launcher. That works. Uh, I don't have all that many rockets, though. And I don't know how many I'm gonna... Oh, I missed, because he was moving. That was dumb. I shouldn't have used that. I should have used my plasma rifle, because those go quick. And they're not much less effective than the rockets. Wah! What was that? Oh, you. Hey, you. Die. All right, now what? Uh-oh. This guy's with guns? Whatever. Oh, and splody dudes. Splody dudes. Explody! Explody dudes! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Big nasties! Did I just fight one of those or two of them? I can barely tell. Okay, let's um, not die. Something's hitting me! Ah! These guys keep hitting me from the side. Uh, what kinds of ammo? They're giving me all the ammo I don't need. I've got like this like chaos ammo around here. Should I be Should I be using my chaos gun? Maybe I should be using my chaos gun. Hello, sir. This is not a called a chaos gun. This is called a an arc caster, I think. What? Lasers? What? What is going? Who's this laser guy? Dead is what he is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this gun is called the Arc Caster. Uh, I don't remember seeing its name, but I, I looked up the weapons. And that seemed to be what it was called. Oh, gosh! Alright, 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 alright. Well, this thing seems to be fairly efficient with its ammo, which is nice. I'm able to kill some pretty nasty stuff. And even crowds of nasty stuff. This actually kind of reminds me a little bit of, like... The BFG in Doom? Not really. But just like, because it, it can sort of clear a room of guys, it, it feels like a baby BFG that's more efficient with its ammo. Okay. So. Have I actually finished this encounter? Or am I just waiting on the next one? Like, like, or like last time, is there just one enemy I haven't defeated yet and that's stopping the rest of it from happening? Oh, no! I have a rune. Okay, hold on. But I see, okay, there is an uh, an ore up there. Where else might there be an ore? There's an ore there. I don't know how to, oh, there's an ore behind something over there. And then there's that one ore I couldn't reach. The oh, there's an ore up there. Okay, so the question is, can I get to any or all of these without a double jump? Like for instance, can I do this? No, no I cannot. Um. Can I open this by interacting with it? No? What happens if I shoot it? 
nothing. So yeah, so one of the ore things is behind there. I don't know what what a person must do in order to acquire it. I can't, oh, this is hair raising. Um, is there something over here that I can do? Probably not. Okay, yeah, so I don't know how to get in there. So I might not be able to get any of these ore chunks, any of them at all. So I'll just collect, collect as much ammo as I can for my next fight. Oh wait, what is, what is that? So it said shoot the force field in the previous level, but okay. How do I turn off that force? There's just so many secrets. What are you? Oh, it's it's lore. With construction complete, we just wanted to take a moment to thank our backers. We couldn't have finished this project without you. Wait, is that is that from the developers of the game, or is that meant to be internal? I don't know. Um, yeah, the, and there's there was some ore over this direction too, wasn't there? That I also probably can't get to with my current capabilities. It was like it's like up there or something. But yep, I can't do it. So okay, looks like I'm not getting any ore out of this. Let's hope that uh, whatever I want to buy with the ore is um, affordable. There's the rune. Oh, that the exit was closed because of the rune. Okay, got it. So they wanted to make sure I got it before I left. Well, I have left. So that's Memoriam. But I haven't really experienced it because I haven't found the secret. So what I need to do is find out what I'm actually missing here. Oh, hey, the Coalition says that he found out how to get double jump. So I've got a theory. Let me go chase it down first, because I'm pretty sure I remember seeing a double jump capability of some kind in the shop. Uh, so I'm going to go to the shop and see what it says. But it, it might be more complex than just buy it at the shop. Oh, interesting. So yeah, so Memoriam is apparent. So according to Cogs, he did some research and found out that Memoriam is supposed to be a place where backers of this project had their names uh, memorialized. I didn't actually see that. I didn't notice it in the level. That doesn't mean it's not there. It just means it wasn't extremely noticeable. Okay, so... Aha! Okay. So yeah, so originally, the first time I came here, only the two weapon options were open. Um... I could I was not capable of buying things on this side wall. But they're open now. This is double jump. It costs 20 ore. And this is dash boost, also 20 ore. I, I dash boost also sounds like a thing that I could use to um to get to secrets. And then Mandalier is tier three. So I'm not sure what unlocks the tiers. Is it just buying all the things in the lower tier? Like once I bought the super shotgun and the plasma rifle, that's what opened the tier two items over here. And then after I buy both of these, that'll open tier three. Okay, so Coalition says apparently the names actually were all over the walls. I just didn't notice them because they're all pixely and hard to see. So then we've got the Swarmer, the Auto Shotgun, and the Mammoth. Ma Mammoth. Um, over here waiting for me. So, okay. So if I want the double jump, I'm going to have to get 20 ore or 9 more ore than I currently have. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But let's go have a look at what ore I'm missing. See if I can add up nine, because because the uh, the ore items that I saw in Chaos Generator and Memoriam seemed to be inaccessible without something like a double jump. So that might not be where to find it. But it could be that the mainline missions, not those side missions, uh, it could be that the mainline missions actually do uh, provide me with enough ore. Like maybe. The nine ore in excavation, maybe most of it is actually accessible without a double jump. And just these levels had had more stringent requirements because they're side levels anyway, and who cares? Um, I'm also a little bit short. Like I, I've got like one or two ore missing from all of these mainline levels. I think there might be one that I got all the ore for. Yeah, Sacrum I got all the ore for. So it's possible I could go back to these levels and find even more ore, but... 
I don't know. I, I put a lot of effort into finding all this ore and never actually got it. One place where I might be able to do it, though, is the Shredder's Trial. Though it's... Wait. It says I found zero of eight ore? Um, excuse me. I definitely found some ore and got out of there alive with some ore. Is it saying... Why is it saying that I've failed at this? That's odd. Well, I was going to go back in here anyway. Because uh, Ranith Cord made a suggestion uh, for how I might be able to pull it off. And that is, apparently there's an option. And I don't know where it is. Oh, here we go. Um, there might be an option somewhere to make, to make running be a thing that you toggle instead of having to hold. Because... Just like, uh, you know, uh, um, this game was, I think, originally built for PC, and you would hold the shift key to run, which is normal on PC. However, holding left stick click to run is insane, and no one does that. Um, no one who's serious does that. So the question is, is that actually an option that I have? Oh, oh always sprint. Okay, I would like to... There, on, apply. There we go. Okay, let's turn on always sprint. Now, that might not be what I want most of the time, but for the Shredder's Trial, it might very well be what I want. Oh, by the way, Coalition uh, confirms my assumption that you have to buy everything from one tier in the shop before the other tier unlocks. So, okay, so that is true. So. Okay, so now I'm going to be moving very fast all the time. Which might give me an edge over previous me, though. I'm not doing great now. Uh, I'm going to need to do better at learning how this works. I have to re-remind myself how to play this challenge. Also, I think my shooting and accuracy is going to need to be improved quite a bit. Because now I, I'm not going to be stopping. I'm not going to be stopping to fire at these things. Uh, as much. I'm going to be trying to run straight through. Okay, right. After I've raised that, do I just run across? Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so this was not the most efficient run, but it's also my first one today. All right, so yeah, not fast enough to get those, but that I, I didn't expect anything different. I did collect one ore. I feel like I should have one more ore. Let's let's go back outside and see if I actually got an ore, because I did back into an ore at one point. Okay, it... This time it gave me credit for getting that ore. It's weird that it didn't before. So I do have 12 ore now. That's great. Uh, I can't actually get up to 20 just with shredders, but I can make a lot of progress. So let's... But yeah, so it says my best time is 126. So, so Ranith Court says I have to get under a minute in order to get that ore. So I'm definitely going to have to get better at doing this quickly. Okay. Okay, I keep I keep having to reload my guns at really unfortunate times. So I need to figure out the right schedule for this. Oh no, I have... Okay, well... Okay, that's garbage. Let's restart. Yeah, so I need to figure out when I need to be reloading so that I don't... I'm not suddenly forced to reload at bad times. Like, for instance, do I reload right then? Yes, that is a good time to reload, because then I can shoot that out of the way, and get this, and be terrible. And then I'll... Okay, that caused me to reload right there, which was not perfect. I could start shooting these much earlier. 
I don't need to shoot these enemies. I don't know why I'm doing that. So I, dang it! Okay, my lack of accuracy is a big problem. Okay, you know, I, I definitely need to not not do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm doing silly things to fail uh, at this point. All right. Oh, oh, you know what I, okay. You know what I just learned? There's no particular reason why I need to fire both of these guns ever. Oh, dang it. If I had hit that, I could have continued. Uh, that was stupid. All right. Okay, uh, that one and that one. Okay, and that one and that one and that one. And then let's do this. And then that was not a good idea actually. And there and there. There, I said. Take him out, and then over here, and then that. Nope. Ah. Come on. All right. Okay, I'm being too reckless. I used to be careful, and I would make it through every time, just not fast enough. But now I'm getting reckless, because I'm trying to go so fast. Not need to shoot that guy. Oh, that didn't go well. Oh, that didn't go well. I don't actually need to hit that, so I won't. No! Okay, okay, okay. That was not great, but survivable. Do I actually need to fight those guys? I don't. Jumping up this is obnoxious. Okay. Let's make this jump. Let's make that jump. Let's get all the way over here and... No! Okay, how, how bad was that? What was my time? How much better... I was six and a half seconds over. Six and a half seconds. Okay, there were definitely a lot of places where I slowed down and stopped. This is much more stringent than the shotgun one was. Like, this is harder to do. Wait, what did I, oh, I forgot to say play again. Well, let's play again. We can do this. Come on. Okay, reloading then is not a good move. I should open those doors first before I reload. And I should be shooting these as I'm crossing. And I can reload here because I don't need to fight that dude. And I overshoot that third target a lot. Okay, I don't have a lot of bullets left, but I can reload while I'm getting through here. So I shouldn't, I should, dang it. Okay, over this, over this, shoot that. And then do I have, I think I've got enough bullets left to make it all the way through the whole thing. Yes! We have succeeded. Just over a minute, but I hit that target by a minute. The thing is, I think that was only three more ore. I am definitely missing some ore. So we're going to, because I apparently didn't get, oh, wait a minute. Is it the restarting that is costing me the ore? Hold on. Let's go back to the campaign map. 
let's see, hold on. Did I get that ore? Or did playing again cancel my winnings? It did cancel my winnings. That's why I didn't have any ore. It's because hitting play again cancels your winnings. I have to do it successfully again now to get the ore. Well, at least I understand how it works. See if I can do it again. Dang it! Oh, this this okay, you know what? That just that just screwed me. The fact that I was so terrible at hitting that previous target that I had no bullets left for the next one, that messed me up. Oh, nope, nope, I forgot, I forgot. I gotta open that next door first before I can reload. Ah. Can I just say, I don't think that that's how this should work. That the play again button should not cost you resources that you've won in the previous level. That there is a kind of an unspoken assumption by the player that when they complete a level, they've completed it and they get the credit for it and replaying it doesn't undo their achievements, it can only gain them things. I feel like there are enough games for which that is the rule that it's a little crazy not to do it that way. Oh, this is where I could have reloaded, dang it. All right, fine, whatever. Close enough, I'm hoping. Okay, and then I'm just gonna freaking ignore these guys and just start shooting away at that guy and 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 yes okay I get all three of them and this time I'm not going to hit the play again button I'm going to continue and get out of this map and now it's going to give me credit for the ore okay now I've got the ore but I've still got a little bit of time. So we are going to go back in here. And this, because I remember there were other bits of ore that I wanted to get. That I think I even found. Uh, I forgot them all. But there, there was more that I could get. So let's go, let's go this far. And this, I'm not trying to go for speed now. I'm going to try to go for completeness. So let's see. Have I missed any ore so far? Looks like no. And this is a way I'm going to come back through later. Check for ore again real quick. Did I miss anything? Nope. All right. So I wonder if some of my missing ore from other maps was this was basically the same thing was it me not realize that yeah because this aura disappeared so sometimes i i have seen other levels where ore seemed like it came back when i thought i'd already gotten it and so it could be that hitting that play again button is what cost me that ore let's check again did i miss anything so far nothing that i can see but further on down this path I'm so bad at hitting these targets. <laughs> Further down this path, there is a place where I can get an auto map. And the auto map might tell me about things that I've missed. So the way you get to the auto map is you ride this baby up. Okay, yeah, you get some ore right there. And then, aha, okay. There is some ore. Oh, that's right. This was ore that I suspected I might need a double jump to get to. This might, this might, this was the first ore that I suspected I might need a double jump to get to. So I'm not going to get that one. Um, this is me right here. It looks like ore, but it's actually me. Um, and then of course there's a three ore at the end, which I've already gotten credit for. So, so 
Oh, wait. Oh, but there, and there's this ore that's really high up that I also suspected I needed the double jump for. But then there's this ore, which is hidden inside a cave at the base of the final area. Oh, I could probably make that happen. Okay, so let's get to the final area. Satisfying to kill those guys after having to avoid them so many times. Uh, okay, so down here in the lava, there's a way to get there. Let's let's look at the map again. It's around the corner, so I probably actually want to get down down here. I probably don't want to try to cross this. I'm not sure if I can though. Let's send this where it needs to go. All right, so it's down there. There we go. Ore fragment collected. Okay, so I think we've gotten all the ore that we can at this stage. Because all the other ore is stuff that seemed to me like I had to have a double jump in order to get it. Yeah, so um, Azra was asking, like, that that decision to make it so that you lose the things you earned in a level uh, when you replay it, was that an intentional decision to make it harder? So I don't think it would be to make it harder. I mean, it definitely makes it more hardcore, you know, in that, you know, like, oh, the game gives you no quarter, but not in a way that has anything to do with skill. It has to do with knowing how the UI works, which is just not like a skill that players are, like, proud of, of achieving. So... I think what it probably was, was just, it, it's probably just an implementation oversight. I'm betting it was like, somebody's like, oh, when somebody, like basically, you, they probably show you your final, like what you achieved in the level, and they're ready to save it. And when you hit the continue button to go out to the map, that's when they save. But if you hit the play again button, they probably just don't go through the step that saves your progress. And so then you redo the whole thing, and then you've got a new set of stats when you actually save. And if you don't repeat those same acquisitions, then you've got nothing. Okay, so yeah, so I've got six now, six ore. And I think there were two that I identified. So yeah, so I know how to get all the rest of them if I can get myself uh, a double jump. So I'm real close, I've got 17 ore. So now I probably just need to go back to some of these older levels where I might very well know perfectly well how to get the ore here. I just never successfully did it. Because I, um, yeah, be because I was replaying, and because I probably just lost ore that I thought I had gained. So I'm betting I could go back to these older levels, replay them, and get the ore. So that's what I'm going to do between now and the next time um, I shoot an episode of Proteus. I'm going to go back. I'm going to try to get those additional three ore in these older levels. I'm going to go and unlock that double jump, um, and then I'm going to go try to use that double jump to get more ore. <laughs> Uh, but we'll save that for uh, for a few uh, a future episode because I've got stuff that I need to do at work today. So uh, I appreciate the fact that all of you are hanging with me with these Proteus things. I realize that, you know, uh, at least looking at um, uh, my views on YouTube, uh, my first Proteus video that I did, my first recent Proteus video that I did, got a bunch of views and my second one got very few. So uh, I think that there, there, there might be sort of a, a lack of interest in Proteus. Um, I really like it, partly just because I really like this kind of old school shooter because it's so nostalgic for me to play games like the ones that I played in high school. Um, but also, it's just really convenient because like I said at the beginning of this episode, the levels are so short, they're so quick. If I have limited time to do a stream, most of the other games that I play, you just can't even accomplish anything in them during a stream um, that, that's only that long. And so uh, it makes me really nervous to start uh, one of those games uh, you know, when I when I have limited time, but I always feel really confident that I can start Proteus. So if if you're not a big Proteus fan, but you've been watching these anyway, uh, I really appreciate the support uh, and and the willingness to sort of roll with it when I don't have a lot of time. Uh, Coalition wants to know if I've played Project Zomboid away from the stream yet. Uh, I haven't. No, I just simply haven't had the time. Um, so I did. Uh, instead of playing Project Zomboid yesterday, I went and I shot uh, an extra an extra episode about Marvel's Midnight Suns because I just I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist doing that while people were still talking about it. And I knew that I was going to have limited time uh, for the rest of the week to, to do longer streams. And that one definitely needed at least an hour uh, in order to, to show a full day in the life of the hunter. 
Oh, hey, uh, Ezra, thank you for saying really nice things about the State of Decay 2 achievement art. A lot of that was done by um, Doug Williams, uh, and, and the remainder, I think, was mostly done by, by Kevin Punn, who are both really good illustrators, and uh, they, they really did those jobs well. So, yeah, definitely huge shout-out to, to Doug and Kevin for getting all of that. Uh, for getting some of the, I, I, I'm really proud of that achievement art, too. I didn't do it, but uh, I, I, being on a team that, that cares that much about getting his achievement art right uh, it, it matters to me, and so, so I appreciate having them on the team. Anyway, let's wrap this up. So, uh, there's a subscribe button. Here's links to other videos. Uh, Proteus is so useful uh, as uh, an episode generator that I'll definitely do another one, and that's going to go there. <laughs>